Good day. Welcome to King Wilmer's Everything. We got a box in the mail from China Post from Yanixa Chen, all the way from beautiful China. And if you kind of figure out what this is, it is a game player. One. One game player. Value US $10. Ooh. So you know what it is. It's a game player. Let's open this sucker up. Let's see if we can get this open here. Let's get this open. That'll be all cut. We gotta sharpen the knife, apparently. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh, look at this. My knife's getting all rusty. Hmm. I don't know if I can get this open. There we go. There you go, baby. So, on this side up, and away we go. There we go. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, that's the box, and you kind of get the idea what this is. It's like it's a blue video games. Not game player, just called video games. Aha, uh -huh, video games. Consumer electronics, right. I'm not sure what that is. Don't throw in the garbage. Probably full of lead. And you can see here, it says appearance, function. Oh, that's so small. Let's see if we can read it. Um, full color, high speed TFT screen, a 40 by 272 pixel, a music player, recorder, FM and mic recording, phone, wait, um, some, oh, photo support, uh, JPEG, bitmap, GIF, TIFF, and PNG, uh, video S, oh, video supporting Formats, AVI, WM, so you kind of get all those. Uh, supports video recording. Uh, let's see. Supports DC and DV. Ebook, supporting games, supporting TF cards, so that you can put a TF card in here, or a SD card. Uh, let's see, anything else exciting here? USB. Uh, oh, multitasking. Supports data exchange between player and card. Oh, file browser, support TV out. So we're going to open this guy up. Yeah, I don't think there's any wireless on this on this guy. It's just a simple um, video player. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, look, I think it's red. Box shows it's blue. And, oh, I do see red. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got, ooh, high quality earbuds. Okay, we have, oh, the TV out came with it. Very nice. Where's the other end of it? Oh, here it is. Came with a power adapter. That was like the Chinese wrapping paper. It's like, oh, he's comes out, it's dirty. I don't know how you get, I guess maybe the box that they, they chuck all these guys in is just full of dirt. I don't know, it's dirty. US plug, very nice, very flimsy. High quality, nothing but the finest. Oh, got a manual. Uh, MP5 user manual. Okay, get in main interface. Picture magnifying. Uh, connecting to PC. All right, that makes no sense. Here's what you really want. Oh wait, there's more stuff in here. There is another cord. It is a USB cord. Okay, so that's for plugging into your computer. And the piece we all want to see. Is there anything else in here? No. The console. The video games. Oh, it's kind of nice. It's very uh, metallic-y. Oh, wait, it's upside down too. Okay, so this is uh, like a nub, like on a Nintendo 3DS. It's got some buttons, so it's feeling nice. Select Start, MP5, 4X Digital Video Camera. Hmm. So it's got a little camera on the back, 8 gig FM. Oh, and here's where you put your little SD card. So I guess this is kind of, oh, here we go, USB, AV out, USB headphones, mic. So here's all your controllers. Oh, it's got buttons on the top. Let's see. Oh, those are nice and clicky. I like clicky buttons. They're all clear, too. That's pretty neat. 
I'm going to leave a little screen protector on so it's, we don't want to damage this high piece of uh, expensive piece of equipment. But let's see if it turns on. Oh, it's got a little lanyard hole so you can hang it from your belt while you're traveling. Actually, it feels kind of nice. It's got some nice nice curves to it that kind of form fit the hand. I guess these are the speakers. Maybe it's stereo. I don't know. Oh, let's turn it on. How do you turn it on? You see an on-off button on here? Oh boy. Now we're already screwed. We don't know how to turn it on. Oh, here it is. On. Uh, is it on or off? Doesn't say. Uh, I think we need to charge it up. I tell you what, let me charge this up. Hey, let me see what this says. Okay. This is on. That's off. So let's say we need to charge her up. Darn you, Chinese guys. You send me something nice like this and I can't even play with it. Anyway, you get the idea. We're going to charge it up and we'll be back in a second. For you, just be seconds. But I guess it's supposed to be like the clone, the, the look of the uh, PSP. And it did a pretty good job, but I mean, the joystick here looks pretty, I don't know. You can see underneath it. It'll be functional. All right, let's charge it up. I'll be back. Stay there. Don't go away. And we're back. She's charged. So you kind of get a good idea what the screen looks like. Appears to have some of probably the more popular games on the main screen. And then if you go, so you can kind of see, let's see what we got here. Where are we at? Because it really doesn't say. King of Fighters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Dragon Ball, Street Fighter, Crash Bandicoot, Metal Slug, Soccer, Fine Lamb. Uh, backyard baseball, hmm. but the main games are under games. Let's see. So you go to games, classic game, and then you wait. You wait, and you can see there's a Game Boy Advance games. Let's see if we can see how many there are. It's like pretty. Ooh. 10,000. I'm going to guess probably mostly these are just duplicates over and over and over again. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Game Boy Advanced. Oops. Let's see what the way to get out of here. Games on demand. I'm not sure what that is. Game one. Oh, NES games are games on demand. Welcome back to the main menu. Music. So we've got a music player. Cinema. Let's see, directory list. BT Boy. It does have a nice sound. Sounds like it might be stereo, too. Alright, get the idea. That works all good. So I guess if you want a little portable video player, a good way to go. Let's see how we get out of here. Camera. Let's see. PC camera. Oh, capture. Oh, there you go. Uh, hmm. Hard to say. Looks like it zoomed in pretty well. I don't think there's any kind of touch screen. Well, probably won't be using the camera. I think if you're looking for a camera, maybe not the best one to get. A little preview. Oh, look, get some effects. Let's see. Brightness, white balance, brightness exposure mode, special effect, save path. Let's see how to get out of here.
Oh, I took a picture. I don't want to take a picture. Let's see, how do we get out of the screen? Come on, let me out. Let me out. There we go. Looks like the down button does most of the exiting. FM radio. Okay. Uh, please connect earphones. I must be using the earphones for uh, the antenna. What's this? Tool. <gasps> Calendar, calculator, stopwatch, recorder, library. Uh, browser. Let's see. Settings. I did have to turn down the volume. It was pretty loud. Effects setting. I think that lets you change, like, you know, how the screen flips, like a cube and stuff like that. Display. What's the display do? Oh, backlight time, brightness. Power saving, date and time, language. TV out! Oh, power NTSC. Uh-oh, what have I done? What have I done? Uh-oh. Don't click on that unless you're connected to a TV. Let's try a game. Uh, let's see. Oh, I know. Let's play Metal. Oh, Crash Bandicoot. No, Metal Slug. I like that. That's a good game. Let's see. Restart. Restart. Licensed by Nintendo. Start. Let's see, it's quite loud. There you go, turn it down. Oh, maybe it's not stereo. I think it's just this side. Yeah, that's fine. Looks like pretty good quality. We'll just play for a second or two. It's actually got a pretty nice screen for what it is. All right, you get the idea. Pretty good game. Looks like they did a really good job. Let's see, how do we get out of here? Start, select. There we go. Let's quit. I'm going to say this is pretty decent quality. Let's see. Street Fighter. If you like Game Boy Advance games, I think you can put other games on here, too. Uh, but it did come with NES ROMs and some Game Boy Advance ROMs. I'm sure are very legal. Looks like they just kind of put the big ones up front. Let's do try Crash. Just because that's a fun game. People will like that game. I like that game too. Start... Oops. Okay. 
Okay, looks good so far. Let's get to the gameplay, because that's what I want to see. Okay, and the joystick works fine. Looks like a pretty good game. Looks like they did a really good job. Let's see, quit. I mean, it's an interesting console for what it is. Game player, that's the name of it. MP5, Forex digital camera, auto, optical zoom, ooh, fancy. So that is the game player, 8 gigabyte FM. So I guess it does have FM tuner in it. That's what the speakers or your um, earphones are for to get the antenna to work. And it looks like it's got some interesting games on it. I think the best thing is you can put your own card in there, or you can hook it up to your computer through the USB port and put your own ROMs on there if you like. But, I mean, it looks like it's you know, fairly decent build quality. It's got a nice, this Lisa's system was nice metallic. It is, you do see holes for two speakers, but it, it feels like there's just one speaker in here. So I don't know, if you, it's something you're interested in, you know, I might want to think about getting one, because this was fairly inexpensive. I can't remember what this was. Maybe 20 bucks, 30 bucks. It wasn't much. And it's direct from the great country of China where they make the best quality equipment and this one I think is a pretty good decent especially like I said if you're if you're gonna go for like a car ride or something where you want headphones and you want to take your Game Boy um, you're not too worried about the oops let's see what did I do there oh no back in the damn camera get out of there get out of the camera No, somehow I keep getting oh I want the TV mode no no I'm back I'm back I'm okay Oh, I don't know what I just did. Oh, I took a picture. It does have a quirky interface. Seems like... I don't know. How do we get out of this? Oh, there's how you zoom. Is it? I don't know. I got the short attention span, apparently. Oh, there we go. It does let you zoom this way. Okay, that lets you zoom in, zoom out. Actually, fairly. I don't know. Looks pretty good. All right, how do you get out of it? How do you get out of it? Probably just took another picture. I don't know. I would recommend not going to the camera. There we go. I'm out. Apparently, the down button. Probably if I read the manual, it would be help a lot, too. But, you know, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play this, especially if you can put your own stuff on there. I might even put a little SD card in here just to get a little more storage and do put the things I want on here. But it seems like it's fairly decent build quality. I mean, it's cheap plastic, but, you know, it looks nice, so hopefully it'll last. But anyway, maybe later on, after maybe six months or so, a little use here and there, we'll see what she looks like. If she still looks nice and shiny and new, or did it take a beat and fall apart and become a piece of crap? So anyway, that is the... Chinese game player. Have a great day.